Hello bookish friends! Welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Drew and this is Drew's Ambitious Reading. And for today's video, I am here to finally do my Readathon TBR. And now if you are new here and you don't know what Readathon is, I don't know where you've been the last couple of years. Donna has been hosting Readathon since like 2017 I think, so however many years that is. I think it's like eight years <laughs> if I remember correctly. Uh, I feel like I'm getting a bit of a head cold tonight, which sucks, but I wanted to film this before I actually feel like I'm getting sick. Um, anyways, I'm going to be using my phone for today's video because I have all my information and what books I'm going to be reading for which prompts. My friend Sydney would be happy with two of these books here. One of these I realized I had to change because over on Book Talk right now, we are... Well, not me personally, but I will be supporting everybody else who does it as um, Boycotting Wednesday Books. And the reason why we're there boycotting Wednesday Books is because one of their uh, employees said a racist, a racist comment recently. And they have not apologized or gave out a public statement yet. So now everyone's boycotting Wednesday Books. I think none of these are from Wednesday Books if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I made sure none of these are from Wednesday Books, but I have a huge stack here, and I also need my phone for today's video. It's because one of the prompts is to play a TBR game, and I don't have a TBR game, but I know my friend Mel from Completely Melanie. I'll leave her channel up above or down below. She has multiple games to choose from, but Mel does this spinning wheel where she puts prompts on the spinning wheel. I unfortunately don't own a spinning wheel. So what we'll be doing is we'll be using my phone. Um, and I found this spinning wheel here just on Google. I found it. Um, and there's a bunch of like prompts on here. So when we get to the uh, TBR prompt game, whatever the prompt name is, whenever we get to that prompt, we will use the spinning wheel. But for now, let me give you all the information. So of course, this is hosted by my friend Donna over at Mom's Book Collection. This is happening throughout the whole month of November. So I'm a little late putting this up. Generally, I, I would already have this video up before November, but I fell so behind in my filming and my editing. Um, but yeah, it's happening th throughout the whole month of November and Donna from Mom's Book Collection is hosting this round. Um, and so there are 12 challenges here. So let's jump into the reading challenges. I think that's all. There are some self-care prompts, which I'll leave in the description box below. I'm not going to do them. The only one I am going to do is date night and I'll probably head out to the movies with my mom because I know the new Hunger Game movie comes out this month and we said we wanted to go see it so we might do that so that might be in a weekly vlog here soon um but yeah let's jump into the reading prompts and then I'll show you the books that I picked for each of the each of the prompts so challenge one is to read a thin book read something that's under 300 pages challenge two is forgotten on your TBR or e-readers Challenge three is to read a book that's part of a series, which I love that one because um, I have a lot of unread series that needs to get completed here. Challenge four is to read a book towards your re yearly goal. My gosh, I don't know why I'm butchering my words. Uh, challenge five is to read a book you started but didn't finish. Challenge six is TBR repeater. Seven is to read an author you have never read from before. Challenge eight is to read a book with yellow on the cover. Challenge nine is to read a book from your TBR cart or even TBR shelf if you have one. I did mine as a TBR cart and I'll show you what book that is when we get to it again. And then challenge 10 is to play a TBR game. Challenge 11 is oldest book on my TBR from an author that I have never read before. Oh, I think I read that prompt wrong. Oh, well, <laughs> I'm going to keep it. And then challenge 12, the final challenge is to read a book with an illustrated cover. So for read a book that to read a thin book that's under 300 pages, I meant to read this in the month of September. Uh, or actually, I think October. Yeah, October. 
and I never got to it and I was so sad that I never got to it but that is Percy Jackson and the Chalice of Gods by Rick Ryden. This is the sixth installment of the Rick or the Percy Jackson universe. I am so excited to be back in this world. I was going to read this for my 24 hour readathon, but I kind of failed at my own readathon that I did. So I'm actually happy I have this on my TBR because now I can motivate myself to pick this up and I cannot wait. It's one of my most anticipated reads. I pre ordered this book earlier this year and it came the day of. So actually, I, that's a lie. I did not pre order this book. I had my friend Jeff, my friend Jeff bought me a copy of this book. Wow, cannot believe I just said that. <laughs> my friend Jeff bought me a copy of this book. So thank you so much, Jeff. I cannot wait to read this and to see what I think of it. And I think this will be a five star read for me. And if I don't get this off my TBR for the month of November, I'm gonna be so sad. Uh, the next one is to uh, forgotten on the TBR or e-readers and for me that is Gilded by Marissa Meyer. This has been on my TBR since the day it came out I want to say. Uh, I remember either I bought this or my brother bought this for me. I can't remember. Um, but I had this on my TBR for quite a while um, and I never got around to it at all and so I was like when I saw this prompt for Rita then I was like, ooh, Gilded can work for that because I really wanted to read it. And I know it's a completed duology now, so if I do love Gilded, I could go on to reading Curse. I don't own Curse yet, but maybe after reading book one, I will get book two, hopefully. And I do know I'm going to love this because Marissa Meyer is a auto buy author for me, and she's like an automatic five-star read, just like Rick Ryden is. <laughs> Then my phone keeps shutting down. I'm sorry. Uh, next is to read a book in the next in the series. Oh my gosh, that was hard. So my series I've been focusing on is Star Wars: The High Republic. Um, this is Cataclysm by Lydia King. Um, this is the, like the next book in the series that I need to read, which is why this book is perfect for this prompt. Uh, I am so far behind on this series as well. I'm. I think by the time this video goes up phase three would already be out so I definitely need to binge read this series this month that way I can get caught up in this universe um and I hear this is people's favorite book of the universe so I'm pretty stoked for that and don't know too much about it just know it's adult sci-fi novel um it says well can I actually say this I'm actually not gonna say the summary because I think it's a little spoilery um but I'm pretty stoked to get back into this universe and hopefully this will be off my TBR. Then we have uh, read a book toward your yearly, yearly goal. And for me, I was pretty shocked that this book got picked because uh, I had uh, my phone pick for me. I was like, hey, pick a number one through... Um, six I think it was and they picked three and this was the third book on my uh top 23 books to read in 2023 list and that's one of my goals um so I was really shocked this got picked I don't know if I'll read this one to be honest I might change it from another book that's on that list but for now my phone picked Morningstar Oh no, I'm nervous for this. If you guys know my journey with this series, you know I am not a huge fan of it. I read book one for my book club and absolutely loved it, gave it five stars. And then I read book two and it felt like the whole universe of this world had changed from like going from what felt like a YA book in book one and then going into adult sci-fi. So I'm nervous. Maybe I'll reread book one and two this month if I have time to squeeze them in or even just watch spoily reviews of it. But yeah, this is what my phone picked for me to read off my list. Again, I might change it. As of right now, I'm leaving it as it is because maybe this will motivate me to pick up the series and hopefully finish it because I think there's seven books, six books out, but book seven comes out next year. So I do have time to catch up. <laughs> then we have... Um, read a book you started but didn't finish. I started this book over the summer and I just never finished it. This is also my book club pick and also by the same author as the first book that I did and that is The Sun and the Star by Rick Ryden and 
Mark Oshiro. Like I said, I started this, and as you can see, I actually annotated this book. I have to go back and see what my annotation key was. But I started this book, and I was really enjoying it. I was literally laughing out loud when I was reading this on the airplane, and I think I read like the first seven chapters on the airplane as well, so that was pretty memorable to do this year. Um, but I started this and obviously haven't finished it so I was like well let me get this on my TBR that way I could get it off my TBR. I was really really excited for this one because it's a mill mill romance novel that's following Nico and Will and is it Will? Yeah Nico and Will. I had to think for a second it's been a minute since I've been in the Percy Jackson world. Um, but yeah like I said I think this was my book club pick for the month of May I want to say. So yeah we had two Rick Ryden books for the book club and I really hope I love both of these books and if I don't I'm gonna be super sad especially with this one I feel like this one I would love a lot more than Chalice of the Gods which is saying a lot because I love Rick Ryden um the next one is to have a TBR repeater this has been on my bookshelf and my TBR videos ever since my friend Sydney hi Sydney if you're watching this ever since my friend Sydney bought this book for, for me for my birthday uh, she bought it for me for my birthday last year and I still have not read it yet so future me you need to read this that way you can get the rest of the series from your friend Taylor um, and so I have Crave by Tracy Wolf. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I am pretty stoked to announce that this month I am buddy reading this with my friend uh, Caitlin. I don't know if she has a bookstagram or a booktube channel, but I know she has an Instagram, so I'll leave her Instagram down below. Uh, we met up, met at the book festival this month, this past month, and we also went book shopping. And she bought a copy of Crave because of how pretty the cover is. Um, she got the purple edition. If I can, I'll put a picture of the purple edition here. And it also came with like purple sprayed edges, but I have the like original hardcover. Um, I think the reason why I have not finished this book, because I started this, I have a bookmark literally in the book. Let's see. Uh, chapter four, page 33 is how far I got into it. And I think I was going to try and annotate it, but obviously I haven't started it yet. So I'm definitely going to restart this and I'm going to be buddy reading this with my friend Caitlin who once again I'll leave her channel or not her channel but her Instagram down below. Definitely check her out. Um, and yeah I, I'm a little nervous for this as well just because I'm not really in a vampire mood but we'll see. Maybe once again this video will motivate me. <laughs> And then read a new to you author. I picked one of my Owl Crate books because all the Owl Crate books are always new to me authors, unless they do repeats of authors. And so this one I had my mom pick, and my mom picked um, Omen of Ice by Hus, Hus Accardo. Accardo. I'm so sorry for butchering your last name. This is a stunning white edition of the book. Um, the back of the book says, our lives cannot stop. They will be, they will all be watching us. On the front, there's a quote that says, when a fae falls in love, it's forever. Aww. So yeah, it's a pretty Owl Crate edition. And I love what they did with it. Because it feels wintry and is almost winter here. Not quite, but it almost is. And the blue is just, I can love this blue, honestly. And then on the dust jacket, this is the beautiful artwork. I think I might use this cover while having this in my reading vlog just because I love how bright it is. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll leave my unboxing video for this box up above or down below and definitely check out that video because that was a fun unboxing I did. But yeah, this is a new to me author and this is a first book in a new fantasy world so I'm pretty stoked to see if I would like this or not. Then we have read a book with yellow on the cover. I could have done Yellow Face by RF Kuang but I didn't know when my hold of that will come in but I finally have that in so I could use that or my most recent yellow book is I'm Glad My Mom Died by Jeanette McCurdy. Um, I talked about this in my weekly vlog that you guys will see before this video, after this video, I don't know. 
depends on editing me. <laughs> um, but I talked about this in my weekly vlog of how this was the last copy on the shelf at my local Target and I was like I'm gonna bite the bullet and just buy the book and I have not read this yet. I have listened to a little bit of the audiobook like earlier in the year when it first came out or something like that but it's been a while so I'm definitely gonna have to restart this one as well. Um, but yeah pretty I wouldn't say stoked for this but I am like excited to get to this one as well. Um, which is kind of weird to say because this is a non-fiction book. So there's my one pick for non-fiction November. <laughs> um, the next prompt we have is play a TBR or no, I lied. The next prompt we have is TBR cart or shelf. And for me, I counted up how many books I had on my TBR cart. And then I picked, had my phone pick a number one through like 30, I think it was. And the, the phone my phone picked Maya and the Lord of Shadows by Raina Baron. This is the third and final book of the Maya trilogy. I really loved the first two books. I read book two earlier this year and I meant to read book three right after I read book two. That way it doesn't be forever. Hold on, water break. <laughs> um but yeah, so I meant to read this right after book two, but like I said, it's been quite a few months. I read book two back in April, I want to say. April or May, I don't know exactly, but if I can find it, I'll put it in one of my videos down below. Um, one of my wrap-up videos, I mean. Hashtag sick brain. <laughs> um, but anyways, like I said, this is the third and final book of the middle grade trilogy. So if I do read this one this month, it will not only be an easy read, but it will also be a completed trilogy for me. And I am definitely behind on my um, completed trilogy, uh, or not trilogy, my completed series list I have in my bullet journal right now. So hopefully I love this one and if I don't I'm gonna be so sad because I really did love the first two I gave the first two books five stars so we'll see what this one has in store for me and yeah on to the next prompt so the next prompt is to play a TBR game and so like I said I'm giving credit to Mel over at completely Melanie and um, here's all the challenges I'll be doing I'm gonna turn my volume up so you guys can hear it and I'm going to hit spin on the spinning wheel and whatever prompt it gives me, I'm going to have to fulfill a book for that prompt. So let's go. Ooh, let's see. Read a book by a male author. Ooh. Do I have any? Ooh, I don't know if I have any nearby. Oh, yes, I do. Do do. Oh, not the book I want. I can do for read a book by a male author. I can do Sal and Gabby Fix the Universe by Carlos Hernandez. This is the second and final book in the Sal and Gabby duology. So if I do read this, I'll get another uh, series off my list. And I'm pretty stoked for that because I did met Carlos and he was quite funny and hilarious person. And he also, um, sorry, my throat is hurting. He also sign my book and it says to drew together we can fix the universe and he signed it at the bottom so pretty so cannot wait to see how this duology ends. again i might have to reread book one or even watch book reviews for book one but yeah pretty stoked to have this on my tbr so thank you tbr game <laughs> and then the second to final challenge is second to final challenge is oldest book on my tbr that is from an author I haven't read yet um, and I think that means like a new to you author or something I don't know that one was very confusing for me if I think correctly I think it says um, like a book you read from before like an author you read from before but haven't read that book yet if that makes sense I don't know it's very confusing Donna please help me out <laughs> but I am picking 
The Everlasting Rose by Daniel Clayton. This is the sequel to The Bells by Daniel Clayton, which I read earlier this year and I really loved it. So I'm excited to jump into this sequel as well. And again, I was going to annotate this one. I was looking for these colors the other days. <laughs> um, I was looking for these colors for my next book, actually. But yeah, this is the oldest book by this author. Despite it having new covers, I still count it as an old book because uh, this one came out in like 2010, 13. I don't know, actually. Let's see. So it says copyright is 2019. So I could be wrong with this prompt. I don't know. We'll see. I'm still going to count it my video. What the heck? <laughs> And then the final book is to read a book with an illustrated cover. I mentioned this book everywhere on my channel recently, and I'm hoping I can read it in the month of November. I'm going to have to text my friend Taylor and see if we can start buddy reading this soon, because this is one of my most anticipated read of the year. And that is Foul Heart... Wow. Yeah. Foul Heart Huntsman by Chloe Gong. This is the second and final book of the Foul Lady Fortune duology and I am pretty scared to see how this one ends because book one ended on a cliffhanger and also I cried a little bit in book one so I know I'm definitely going to be crying in book two. Like I said I am planning on buddy reading this with my friend Taylor. I think my friend Lori is also buddy reading this with me but I could be wrong but I'm still going to link everybody I mentioned down below but yeah pretty again another book I'm pretty stoked to get to um and I also feature this in my top 12 books to read by the end of the year video that will be up above or down below in the description box oh my gosh I cannot speak but yeah this is the last book I'll be reading for readathon hopefully I can get to it because this is one of my chunkier reads on this list and yeah I don't know we'll see but yeah that is the last book on my list so the and there goes my sack <laughs> there you guys have it those are all the books i am hoping to read for read again anybody i mentioned especially donna go check out donna from mom's book collection she has a youtube channel here i'll leave her down below um but yeah definitely check donna out and i'll talk to you guys later if you enjoyed this video please give me a big thumbs up hit that subscribe button turn your notification on so you don't miss any new videos coming from me every monday wednesday and friday and i'll talk to you down below Bye, guys.